with all these penny box challenges and bank box battle series I have going on, I just wanted to go to a new bank, pick up a box of pennies, and see what it gives me. Hey everyone, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure. And like I said in the beginning, I just want to do a one box hunt, take my time, use the scope, check for errors and varieties, have a lot of fun doing this and not rush through a couple of boxes. I chose this box, honestly, because it seemed like there's a lot of good top enders on it. Not a lot of shield sense, a whole bunch more copper. I don't know, I could be just wishful thinking, but it just seemed like there's a lot better coins in this box than I have seen in a while. And I can only see the top row right now, so I'm gonna stop there. But I'm gonna get through this box and I will always loop you guys along the way. I am itching to find something really old. My last several boxes have given me a lot of 40s and 50s, which is typical, an occasional 30, but I have not scored a nice teens weedy or a 20s weedy in a long time, let alone an Indian head. So hoping for something like that, but we'll take whatever we can get. And I'm not gonna take any more of your time. Let's get this hunt started. Oh, and it's a shield sent in her to start. Twelfth huh. roll in, finally got our first wee penny, but it was facing us, and we saw it was a 56D. All right, on the board. Now let's find some more. Roll number 18, still stuck on one wee penny, but we found a dime in the rolls. Hopefully it's something cool. Nope. 2001. Made a dime though. Roll 20 and I saw one wheat penny when I laid it out so I flattened a lot of them and I think we have one there. Could be old. Look at that wear. And one I believe right there because I don't see a rim. It is. Alright. Couple of wheat pennies in this roll that makes me feel better about the box. I was getting nervous. First find of the roll. 53S, a lot of wear, thought it'd be older, but still, S mint mark, we'll take it. And then back here, a 45S, so a couple of S mint Wheaties in that roll, and that makes me feel better. A, we've got three wheat pennies now, and a couple were S mint marks. Roll number 32, and yeah. That is a worn back. We may not even get a date on this one. I guess we'll flip it and see if there's a date. It's a 1920 something with a Denver Mint, I believe. Let's see if I can see it under the microscope. So we're zoomed in a lot. Let me show you what I'm looking at under the microscope here. We know that this is a 1-9, and that is most likely a D. So that's probably a 19-something D. I haven't touched this penny besides wipe it with my finger, and this is what it looks like. Now, don't mind this hard line. You can see that there's a hard line that goes through it, but it hit some raised elements here, which is why it's darker here than here. We know this is a 2. You can see it zoomed out. It's definitely a 2. It's just been beat up a little bit. And if you look down here, you can see the bottom of the two just kind of rubbed away. Besides, it's not a three, it's not a four, there's no tail down here, and it's even with this, which would be where the two is. Seeing that that's a two, and seeing that this characteristics down here is the leg, there's a very similar leg down here. So I'm not paying too much attention to this because this could be a zero. This could be a zero. So... It's either a 1920, or in my opinion, a 1922. Again, misleading because the damage, but the raised elements would pick up the scratches first, which is why I think since that would be the highest points of the number two, which is why it's probably scratched like that. Man, then when you look at it further, you think, well, could it just be some extra damage and that's a six? I can't tell. 
Best guess, 1920, 1922, or 1926. I don't think it's a four because I don't see anything trailing off over here. And this could be an S, it could be a D, but I really think, in my opinion, that might be a 1922D. Let me get it out from under the scope one more time. Look at it with the naked eye. Curious to hear your guys' thoughts. Maybe a 22D. Who knows? We'll put it to the side for now. We'll work more on it later. Just wanted to show it to you guys. All right, one more look at it from far away. This is not a zero, so I'm not worried about this big old huge scratch here, which is throwing it off. But when you look at it from this angle, one, nine, two, two. I'm pretty certain now that's a 1922D. Gotta be. Final answer. Now let's move on. Finished hunting that box of pennies from Chase. And you know what? It was kind of a slow box, really. We only got four wheat pennies. Mind you, we've got one that could be a 1922. Different lights, man, it changes. Could be a 26, could be a 20. I don't know. We'll have to figure that one out later. It's trashed regardless. So even if it was a 22D, it's worth a few bucks at most in this condition. Could be a book filler, though. We did find nine 2009s, one of my lowest, and only 259s. No 69Ss, no foreigns, no proofs, hardly anything. We did find a dime, odd, and we did find this 1992. I was checking it for the close AM, which it wasn't, and I'll show you that. Not the close AM, but it had a significant amount of doubling, and it's just machine doubling by the way it is, but it's still a pretty cool find. Made me do a double take. You can see clearly how much doubling there is on this. Matter of fact, if I show other letters, I think they're all pretty similar. You can see some doubling on that E. Pretty pronounced. To any extent, thought it was kind of a cool find. It's just machine doubling, heavily machine doubling, but something different. Glad I opened that box on its own. I thought it looked like a good box. And you know what? I'd rather take oldies than a whole bunch of 50s. So hopefully you enjoyed this quick little one box hunt with me. If you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting. And thanks for watching.